thought I'd just do a chill follow me day on the last week that I'm at university. It's quarter past nine which is the earliest I have been up in a long time and I'm going to go see my dissertation supervisor in our office hours to talk about summer reading. Then off into town to do a charity shop call by which means I'm going to start the charity shops in one end of town and end up at the walls on the other end of town. <laughs> So I've just come out of my dissertation meeting and now I'm walking towards town to find me some good charity shops. My supervisor thinks that I'm actually ahead with my dissertation stuff right now and he's quite excited about it so hopefully that goes well and I'm going to do some shopping. Well, I've made my way right across town, so now I'm going to walk along the walls to get back to city centre and find something to eat. I think I've definitely got some good finds along the way. And it's been a really nice warm day considering that it's rained non-stop a couple of weeks leading up to this day. It feels weird to be vlogging in public, but then again, I'm the only one on this section of the wall right now. from town and my bike has been tagged which means I can keep it here over summer and not have to lug it back to North Wales which is ideal so also means that now I can't use my bike because it can't be moved but that's okay because I'm going home in a couple of days anyway let me just do a little bit of a haul of the things I got and where I got them from I got this really pretty cherry dress from a British Art Foundation charity shop for £6 and it's originally Dorothy Perkins. Just needs a tiny bit of adjusting up here to make it fit slightly better but a couple of stitches will do that nicely so and it's very soft. And this absolutely perfect Hell Bunny summer sailor dress which has really nice pockets on it. This gorgeous embroidery on the back of the sailor collar and this was £20 which I think is pretty decent for a hell bunny dress. We also got this really really soft Miss Selfridge shirt from St Leonard's Hospice for £3.50 and it's so so soft and really comfy. 
good £3.50 spent. And at the British Red Cross charity shop I managed to find this long sleeve starry dress and it was £6. I think it's originally H&M but something about these stars just makes me think of Luna Lovegood which I think is why I was drawn to it. And I've had this t-shirt planned to be my end of year treat for quite a while because it's been in the window of the Disney shop for ages and I've walked past it for weeks and now it's finally the end of term. So I got myself this Princess Jasmine top from the Disney sh shop and it was £16, which is quite a bit for a t-shirt, but I know my brother has spent more. <laughs> They're just so pretty. And then from an Oxfam books, I managed to find these three little penguin black books of different stories to read. And I've got the Elizabeth Gaskell's Old Nurse Story, Thomas Hardy's Woman Much Missed, and... Hans Christian Andersen, The Tinderbox. And these are just great for experimenting with authors without dedicating yourself to a massive novel. And they were 50p each, which was great. And I also did a little bit of treating myself if I wasn't already treating myself quite a bit. And I got a really glittery bath bomb from Lush for the last bath that I'll take in this one. And these set of pens and this, like, absolutely perfect hour to hour schedule pad from Paper Chase and I've been looking for something like this like as a notebook for ages and nobody seemed to do like an hour to hour schedule without there being really expensive hard back down books so this is absolutely perfect and I'm not quite sure what happened because when I got to the two the, when I got to the till these two together were £2.75 so and the meal deal because I'm classy